Yo, today is December 21st. Today is December 21st, 2023. It's a Thursday. It's about five o'clock afternoon. I'm gonna get a workout in. That I'm actually gonna look up before we start um, recording this actually. I forgot to look up today's workout. 10 minutes of jump rope to start. before I came here, messing up the jump rope. We're probably already a minute and 30 seconds in, at least a minute. Haven't even hit the jump rope yet. Forgot to look up the workout. Hey! Well, one thing's for sure is you can't bat 100. Is that the saying? You can't bat 100? I don't really know baseball, so I don't get the reference, but I get the reference, you know? Simple enough. So I can see my shape. My shape's looking not too bad outside the shirt. My back's hurting a little bit right now. Oi, oi, oi. Oh. We got some jump rope, some Tabata squats, probably some shadow boxing. And then uh, another round to jump the rope, I think. Maybe some dumbbell curls in between that I, I don't recall. I got a picture on my phone though right there. Damn, what's going on with that? This jump rope right now. I'm fresh, so I shouldn't be stumbling over my feet. It's not from fatigue. I feel like it's because of the floor it might be unlevel or something. Instead of choking up, I just move my hands a little bit further down the handle of the jump rope. Feels a little bit better. Can y'all see the shape on me outside of the um, shirt? A little thick, but dang, what's dang? Here we go. All right. The 
this, man, the jumping rope. I've been getting pissed off at this for the fucking past couple months, guys. Man. Can't even jump some rope. How am I gonna get in the ring? I can't jump rope. Send me my check. Now you can send me my check. Send me my check, yo. Get that check. You heard? Get that check, you heard? The employee that walked in here, she's a sweetheart. I like her. I'm gonna make friends with her. Shout out Janet to YMCA. You heard? Broke a sweat. That's a good thing, huh? Can't get that double cross. Genuinely like the pot, the tea kettle is steaming right now, guys. Is there smoke coming out of my ears? Because that's how the jump ropes make me feel. Why can't I do that, man? Why can't I hit that? one that like didn't just sting but like genuinely actually hurt that one right there I've had this jump rope for a couple months now for a month that just hurt me I feel like the jump rope and the speed bag are either brothers or first cousins first cousins at the very most and brothers at the very least. Because it's all about the rhythm. It's almost not even about the actual cognitive. Okay, jump now. It's about feeling. You know what I mean? When I'm speeding it up right here, I'm just, I'm just like feeling it more than I'm thinking about it. This motherfucker, bro. This motherfucker, what you calling me about, bro? Yeah. So. Wow, man, I appreciate it. You were thinking about me, huh? Wow, man. Oh, yeah, you're listening to Black Magic? Okay, what is that, like 2003? That's 
post Wayne era. Was Niles talking to Little Wayne without talking to him, or did he have respect for him at the time? Funny enough, two days ago, I Googled what gym he trains at, guard rent, because I'm like, dude. Because more than anything, bro, I want footwork. You know, like, I would sacrifice punching power, speed. But I mean, like, speed and footwork are almost, eh, not really, actually. But, yeah, footwork is, if I had, like, I need, like, a Madden character, and I got the... Okay. That was the worst 10 minutes of jump rope I've ever had in my life. It's crazy. About a squats, four squats, ten. Ten rounds. Alright, y'all ready? Y'all ready for this? Got them weak legs, bro, burnt up already. Them weak legs are burnt up already. This is what the dude taught me at the gym yesterday. It was a slip jab, and as I slip my jab, or as I slip his jab, and I connect, he was telling me, aim for the throat. The throat is the kill shot. So he says, slip jab, connect with their throat, and he said there's an offensive jab, or I'm sorry, an offensive step and a defensive step. Offensive step, moving forward. Defensive step, you might be moving backwards, you know? Moving off your foot instead of onto your foot, okay? So he tells me, use that like, slight defensive step, that off step, once I'm slipping the jab and connecting, I'm using that off step to create an angle back and then to come, come down on it. So if, if you were to envision it, if I'm him and I'm throwing a jab, I'm, hit, I'm, uh, I'm slipping this jab right here so my head would be over here while my left arm 
is connecting to his throat right here, and then I'm creating an, an angle over here. He threw the jab first, and then that leaves him wide open to get hit with the right hand. So I learned that yesterday. I'll practice that a thousand times in the next couple of months. Jonathan ain't answering. Motherfucker snitched me out. Are you kidding me? That's crazy that he snitched me out. That was crazy, bro. All right, I think that's like four rounds right there. Just tell me my battery's low. Means we got six more rounds. kind of disgusting it's like very it's it is super unattractive just like a guy simping over a girl like getting 10 text messages while responding to one of them it is gross in the sense of like uh you know dude they they you, they want me to join that so bad i mean dude you know it's it's for that simple fact it makes me like it, it turns turns you off you know it's just weird dude it's gross this motherfucker's been trying for like 10 15 years to try to get me it's almost like an inevitable thing. It's almost like I don't have a choice, you know? Which that makes it like, dude, then like, what's the point then, you know? But more than anything, that makes me want to repel from it more, you know? These are really difficult, they're not easy. They look easy, they're not. How's that gonna go? So the dude calls me because he's been thinking about me and wanted to check up on me, but he doesn't have shit to say. Get the fuck out of here, bro. Motherfuckers are so stupid, bro. That's the worst part. It'd be like, man, if they were at least a little bit better with it, more smooth, more slick, that'd be like, you know?
Got a good sweat going. My legs are on fire. I'm gonna say that's the seventh round. Eight, six, seven. Five, five, six. We'll say that was six. This will be seven right here. Life really, dude, I don't, I don't wanna get like fucking like brutally graphically murdered, but at the same time, it's like, bro, I don't care about life enough to sacrifice my morals and principles. I don't, and I don't give a fuck if I'm wrong about those morals and principles. Me being willing to stand on top of them is what, is a big part, you know, it means a lot. Cause I believe I'm right in my heart of hearts, you know what I mean? Whether I'm right or wrong, I believe I'm right. And the fact that I believe I'm doing what's right and still unwilling, I think that means a lot. Do a couple more rounds. Dude, you think you got a tough chin? You think you got a strong jaw? Get that jaw size. Or, or just eat a bunch of kale. <laughs> Think you got a strong jaw, eat a bunch of kale. Eat two of them giant Rice Krispies that, that that young fitness dude who does all like the food eating challenges in the gym and stuff. You seen him, dude, he started trying to like exercise his jaw. He was eating them Rice Krispies before a gym workout. I Think it was a newer video. One more. Give me one more. It's about a three pump push ups. Uh oh. 10 minutes continuous punching, 10 minutes of free flow shadow boxing. Okay. All right. Okay. The push ups, we're going to struggle on these push ups here, guys. What did it say? Three pump? 10 rounds of three pump push-ups. That's not easy, bro. That's it's like technically four push-ups, right? Three pump. One, two, three. One, two, three. Uh, what is that then? That's only 30? 10 rounds? Three pump push-ups or no? I think he does it for like 20 seconds. I think. Double check here, guys. I'll, let me re-record. Dude, Chev, uh, Chez, uh, Cantry. Wow, how bad did I butcher his name? 10? Yeah, 10 out of 10 for sure butchered it. Bro, he wants us to do 30, I'm sorry, 20 second intervals, three pump push-ups, 10 second rest. 10 rounds of that, dude. Guys, do you know how hard that is? Very hard. Not easy. It's not easy. All right, so we got one more squat. One, two, three, four. And I kind of cheated on the squats because it's not really 20 seconds I'm doing them. I'm doing like seven reps of four pumps, four to three, three to four pumps. That's three right there, right? Four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine, 
Dude, that dude is crazy, bro. Dude, you have to be such a savage to be able to do these. I think I skipped his first iteration of he's got like the savage body, the warrior body, the gladiator body. I think I skipped the beginning phase of it, you know? These are tough. Yeah, these are difficult, man. We'll get it done, though. Let's try to set a time. 20 seconds here. All right, Let's see how many we get in. 10 second rest, ready, set. So about nine, nine reps will take us to 20 seconds, all right? 10 second interval. Dude, this, this is way too hard, bro. 20 seconds on, 10 seconds off. Chez is a fucking psychopath, bro. It's not even possible to do this. I'm already supposed to be going. Not to mention like all the lactic acid and soreness from, you know, the past day, two days, three days, week, month. But whatever. It's gonna be the takeover year anyway, right? So that was four. It's gonna be five. I knew, I knew the first thing that I said, it was too easy, bro. Three pump push-ups, 10 rounds. I knew that was too easy. It's 20 seconds of three pump push-ups for 10 rounds, 10 second rest. Bro, that dude's crazy. <laughs> this isn't the gladiator body, that's the psychopath body, bro. That's the Norman Bates body. The, uh, you know, taxi driver. Robert De Niro body, cause that's, this is insane, bro. What was that, six? Ooh, my shoulder's hurting, not in a good way.
Meanwhile, I'm listening to some of like the most wild stuff you you will ever hear. You know, <laughs> the stuff that I'm listening to right now is unreal, and it's not music. All right, that was seven. This is eight. Struggling, y'all. Struggling here. Let me change batteries. Probably getting hot. <sighs> Maxed out, y'all. My shoulder hurts in a bad way. Get up on the floor, dancing. From the past two days. The opposite side of my elbows hurt really bad. I'm throwing punches. I kind of like, not threw out, but kind of threw out my right. Damn, I can't believe I can't, I don't know what this is called right here. Opposite side of your elbow. The lighting's horrible here, dude. Like that noise?
Ooh. Ooh. Ooh, the dude who, who I'm listening to right now just connected a crazy dot. Whoa, talking about Moses. Whoa, wow. You guys know how Moses got um, to be with his family in the Egypt with the Egyptians? I used to get Moses and Noah confused. You know what I mean? But Moses, did Moses split the Red Sea? Is that the same Moses who was um, the Pharaoh's adopted son? Had him since he was an infant. The dude just made a crazy dot with that. He was sent to the Pharaoh's in water. They put him in a basket and put him in the river. The river carried him to the Pharaoh's. The Pharaoh's adopted him. Then Moses finally becomes a man, a young adult, and realizes who he really is. And he went from spitting and tormenting and um, of being abusive towards the slave class to realizing that he's one of them. Guys, my arms hurt so bad right now. It's unbelievable. Right here, it hurts so bad, it's unbelievable. Out of 10, Eight, eight, two, seven, nine. My shoulders, two days, three days after hitting 135 reps with 10 pound dumbbells, 14 out of 10 pain, 14. I couldn't even sleep. My arms hurt so bad I couldn't sleep. And you know what made it worse? After I hit 135 um, reps with 10 pound dumbbells, I was on my moped and it was cold, so I was all tensed up in my shoulders and my neck, dude. And that, I mean, that just stressed the muscle to an unbelievable extent. This dude, uh, Chez, Chez Cantry, Cantry, Cantra, Chez Cantra. This dude's a madman, bro. These workouts are tough, dude. are tight. Ooh. Mr. Man, fuck you, Mr. Man. You little punk ass bitch, bro. I know how much free time you got on your hands, bro. Can't chop it up with your boy for 15 fucking minutes, but you talk to Tiger. What the fuck do y'all talk about? Donald Trump? Hillary Clinton? You fucking clown ass Mark motherfucker. Go put on a penguin suit, you fucking pussy. Fuck you. Remember that? Hey, Johnny, talk to me dirty, bro. Tell me what I need to hear. You're a clown, bro. You're a fucking subservient puppet. It's funny how the people who claim to be free thinkers are really quite the opposite, right? Just subject to another um, model of thinking, model. Not modella, but a module. That's the word I'm looking for, a module of thinking. Then my brother doesn't answer the phone a couple minutes ago. <laughs> These people are crazy, bro. These people are crazy. It's unbelievable. Then you gotta wonder just, you know, exactly how many and who are really getting down like that, man. It's everybody. What did Rosemary say? All of them. What's the anagram? It's all of them.
how my boy Q U I N T Quint Boxing. Check him out, bro. That's what that was my best impersonation of him. With as shitty as I am. He's like, Gonna get a little bit of water after this. We'll take like a minute and 30 second, two minute rest. And then we uh, free flow shadow box for 10 minutes and that's the end of the workout. Then I'm gonna get into a little bit of footwork. If I got enough time. If not, I'll do it outside. I kinda can't, but try to do it outside without breaking a sweat. Gotta get my shower in. Cutting it 40 seconds short, y'all. Why? Because we're weak-minded? No, dude, because we're a beginner, man. Ain't nothing, no shame in that, dude. Chez has been fucking boxing and working out since he was 11 years old, man. Ain't no shame in that. Dude, my arms, bro, my arms are destroyed. How do you keep balance when you throw uh, knees like that? If I even get touched when I do that, it's over for me. I'm going to the ground. If they if they blow on me, I'll go to the ground. Jonathan said I ain't no snitch. Well, what do you want me to do, bro? Guys, I'm beat. I'm beat.
weak. I'm weak. We're going to get stronger. I'm weak. We're not done yet after this either. Yeah, southpaw could be a little bit tricky, right? Because the thing is, it's not as simple as going on the outside of the arm. Or maybe it is. Now that I'm thinking about it in my mind. Because if you got two orthodox fighters and he throws a jab at me, bah, I'm slipping right here. This is to the outside of his left arm, right? But if I had a southpaw and I'm an orthodox and he throws a jab with his right arm, I'd slip here to the outside of his right arm, but I'm kind of still in his trajectory, right? Because of how his footing is, I think, as opposed to when we slip that orthodox uh, left hand jab, I'm kind of to the outside of his body, you know? Where am I? I can't even throw fucking heat behind my punches right now because my arms hurt so bad. I'm beat up guys today. I'm beat up right now. Switch stances here. Keep your hands up. Man, shut the fuck up. I'm trying to get in shape. I'm trying to breathe first. 
I've been saying that for months now. I took a month and a half off, two months, so that's where I messed up. I'm real proud of you, man. If you're proud of me, why is your wife on antidepressants, you weirdo? Bro, you've been with your wife for like 15 years now. The second time. Why is your wife on antidepressants, bro? Fucking asshole. getting worked in the fight, guys. Against somebody with a little bit of experience, I'm getting worked. All right, we gotta take a break. I'm, I'm beat up, y'all. I'm winded, I'm winded. This is the last exercise. Little camera angle right there. Your hands up. I know they hurt. I know they're blown up. I know they're full of lactic acid. So keep them up. <laughs> Everybody's a bad motherfucker until they're tested, huh? Two minutes. Why am I getting dizzy? I don't know.
Tomorrow, I'll get you tomorrow, you mother effer.